Hi everyone, it's Jamie and welcome back to my channel. I know what I'm about to do like every other YouTuber who plays The Sims has done so far, but I need a video for this. I have not posted since like the 24th, so we gotta fix that. Unless you've been living under a rock, then you would know that The Sims 4 just out of nowhere dropped a new trailer on us. This is a trailer for the Sims 4 Tiny Living Stuff Pack. Um, I have watched the trailer a few times, so I'm going to watch it with all of you, break it down, and we're going to kind of discuss what we're looking at. We're going to watch the trailer completely and then go in and maybe pick some stuff out. I've seen it so many times, but I love this trailer. All right, so breaking it down, this is our first shot at looking at the new tiny home. I'm assuming this will probably be on the gallery to download. You know, by the looks of it, it doesn't look like we're getting too many new, like, kind of outside build stuff. I think we have some new little dangly thing here, which might be new. Who knows? You know, overall, I think we have all of this stuff already in the game. But with that said, it is a stuff pack. It's not generally going to be filled with stuff. They're $10. Nice <clears throat> so this is cool. So as you know, we have many different uh, lot types, from residential to spa, depending on all the different, you know, like packs you have. So here we're getting a new called Tiny Home Residential. And as we go through the trailer, you kind of find out like what that means. The first thing I noticed... So the tiny homes are a hundred tiles um, big. They can go as tall as you want. I mean, four floors. I don't know if basements are allowed. Um, and I don't know how basements work with the tile system in this. But so they have to be a hundred tiles or smaller. So they're really being specific on what is and what isn't a tiny home. And I'm like, ooh, I did not expect the Sims team to be coming. For all those YouTubers who like making tiny homes, you know, the ones that like make tiny homes, and you're kind of watching it and you're like, not really a tiny home, but you know, small house. Um, back. So, I don't think there's anything super new here. A lot of this it looks like we already have. Um,. But this door is new, which is why I think they included this shot. But all of this here, we have. All this we have. This door, though. Loving it. Very modern. Alright. The things I'm noticing here. We have these lights. I don't think these are new. I'm pretty sure we have them. I kind of use the same, like, two lights. But, you know, who knows? Maybe I should branch out more. We definitely got this. I think this is a um, dresser, maybe? Ooh, but I'm not 100% sure. We also have this new um, shelving unit. We have one here, one here. And as you see, we have some new clutter items. Um, this new, or do we have this? Do I just not use it? Uh -huh. We have these two new kind of like entertainment centers, I guess you'd call them. This one isn't really, this is a Murphy bed that brings down. You see it has a couch here so you can sit here uh, during the day and then go to bed at night. It has this kind of storage unit. It looks like this is something you can slot into, which is cool. 
Over here, we have a TV kind of entertainment center. I think this is a radio underneath it. Um, and once again, it looks like there's like a slot. So we need to slot up here. Interested to see what kind of um, other different kind of swatches it comes in. I'm also interested to see if you can put anything up here or if what's up here just kind of stays. And this rug, this is a nice new rug. The small homes, one of the first things that come with the tiny home um, when you're using that residential lot is you get bill reduction, which makes sense. So we saw that one, that one's kind of ugly, but back. Um, I don't really love this, but it is a tiny home, not gonna lie. It's got a pool, it's got like this nice, um, uh, wall kind of thing going on. You know, I like it, but it's just, I'm like, ooh, what? You know, it's an EA. Uh, we have these A-frame homes that people make a lot of, and I've never had the desire to make them, but now that, like, they're gonna actually be something, I'm kind of into it. Once again, you see there's a lot of, kind of, a lot of them are a lot of earthy or very modern looking. That, so I'm interested that they went that route. Then we have this one. This is got all these stairs on the outside. This new modern door. Okay. Oh. So, all the time they watched the trailer before, all the other floors, I don't think there's anything too new. Beds are new. I think that was a little simsy. Um, I don't know. They kind of look like beds we have. They could be new. Um, I also don't really pay attention to, like, the twin size beds. Um, but this looks new. And then new artwork. And then the rest is kind of looks the same. And then here, we got, like, this was in the last one, but I didn't really touch upon it. But to a new tiny desk, which I've been looking forward to. The only, like, other kind of smallish desk we have is that one from City Living. And I don't really love it. I'm excited to be getting a new one, and it looks like it has multiple places for things to slot into. This new? This is something I've never noticed before. Um, looks like we're gonna need some, like, some new furniture, some new artwork. You know, overall, some really nice new items. Pill reduction, relationship game. Here's just showing you ideas of things you can do with small, tiny homes. This is kind of like a loft style home. Um, once again, it looks like this new thing comes with different slottable shelves. Look at some new kind of cluttery items and some new furniture. The Murphy bed, it looks like um, the Murphy bed might not always be perfect. comfort bonus all right bring in some new clothing as well just a quick look overall these are some really nice clothing i feel like when you think of tiny homes you think comfortable cute modern that's kind of what i'm getting from most of this some of this i'm like ooh, um you know stay snug in style and it looks like here's some items we got you know new this is kind of like a bathroom one, um, bathroom shelving unit. Here's the new shelving unit for the kind of like living room, maybe kind of like something like that. Um, new clutter. Oh, I was right, we are getting new lights. Keep it cozy. I wonder if we're getting a new desk. All right, so overall, I'm very excited for this pack. This pack is going to be super nice to have. This is the thing about stuff packs is... They, I feel like there's a handful of good stuff packs and the rest are kind of bad, but I will say the last few stuff packs we've gotten, I think have been pretty good, pretty up there. Um, you know, we got Moschino stuff, which was pretty good. Um, we also got Laundry Day a little while, a few years ago, which is really good. And then we have that um, Community Voter one that's coming up sometime later this year. I'm really glad that this year is starting on a new stuff pack that's actually pretty fun it actually looks like it's going to be um really able to enhance gameplay for certain players people who like to do you no know, tiny homes maybe 
small living, um, eco-friendly living. Like, imagine Matt mixing this with kind of like the laundry day items that are more green and um, eco-friendly. So, overall, very excited. Let me know down below in the comments if you're excited for this, what your initial thoughts are. Let me know what you're also excited for later on this year. I'm going to be having a video come out eventually, maybe, um, where I kind of talk about what I think or I'm hoping for for 2020 in The Sims 4. Awesome. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next.